Hello and welcome to Straight to Coding. Today we are going to talk about how to register multiple implementations of a single interface. Today we have um, an interface that has three implementations. Um, the interface is iReminder interface and it, we have three implementations of the iReminder service. So we have SMS, we have email and we have push notification. So let's assume that we have multiple um, controllers and each controller requires only one of the services of this interface how do we resolve that issue we have multiple options to go about it and today we are going to talk about all four of them so the first one of the first option is to register all three implementations and allow the controller or the service that requires them to resolve the resolve it and choose the one it needs. The second option is to have a service delegate, a dedicated delegate that re registers the reminders, the SMS, the I reminder services, and also resolve by passing the token to this. You it will resolve the service that is required. The third option is to have a factory, which is similar to the delegate and it registers all the implementations of the imp interface and also by passing the token to the factory it will resolve the one that is required the fourth option which most people end up using is to create individual in in interfaces derived from that single interface so instead of having just one i reminder service interface we will create multiple interfaces out of it as an inheritance so SMS we have I SMS reminder and we will have its own implementations of it and then we can have email reminder I email reminder and it will have its own service and the same for push notification so let's begin by having a look at how option one works so here is very simple we register all three implementations of this I reminder interface and the controller or the service that requires it will identify which one it needs to use so here we have an example here we have a controller called push notification in this controller we require the push notification service to send a message okay so what we do is we will send all three i reminder implementations to this notification uh, interface to notification controller and it will choose the right one that it requires so in this case, we will, it will identify the right one by using the type. So here, we identify it by the type. And once we find it, we will use it and then send our reminder. Okay. And the second option is by using a delegate. Okay. So here, we have a dedicated delegate that does the registration and resolving. Okay. So in this in this delegate we have a um an endpoint where we can register all three interfaces and then we can then resolve the right service by passing a token to this delegate so if you pass an email it will resolve it by re re returning the email reminder and if it's sms it will also resolve it by sending the sms back and the same for push notification so the delegate is the one doing the job of identifying which service that is required. Okay, and then let's have a let's have a look at an example where this is used. If you go into the email controller, all we have to do here is to pa just pass the resolver or the delegate resolver in the constructor, and whenever we need to have to use a service, all we have to do is pass the the name or in this case the token which identifies the service so here we pass an email to the resolver and all the resolver does is returns the email reminder because all these three reminders are all registered so all it has to do is resolve it by passing the email reminder and then it will, it will be used here the third option that we have is similar to the second option which is just using the interface okay so 
is similar to the one we have as an option two, but this one is using factory. What we do is in the factory uh, bootstrap, we will register all three interfaces along with the factory service. Okay, so similar to the one we had, if you pass a token to it, it will then be resolved using the token to give you uh, the right service. This is the most preferred one because it's, it's, it's a factory pattern and people are kind of used to factory pattern and it can easily be improved as well. So people tend to use this option. And the fourth option is literally just create uh, inherited uh, interfaces from the I reminder and have multiple. So let's run, let's go through this one by one by running the service. We start with the first one, which is register all three interfaces. So we make a call to this and then see how we it, it gets resolved. And let's put let's put a breakpoint here as well as we run it. Okay, so it's loading up and it's now ready. So what we do is we just call API slash push push notification. And here we have access to all three three reminders. All three of them. And all we are saying is give me the one that has a type of push notification. So it gives us that one and then we make use of it. And then we, we return it. So here it says implementation of three, registration of three implementations. Okay. The second option, let's have a look at the second option. Let's comment this out and have used, try the second option. Let's try the second option by using um, a delegate, okay? And here we have an example of it in the email section. So let's run the code again. Okay, so let's call the email endpoint. So here, what we're doing is we are passing a token, email as a token, to the resolver and based on that token which says email is going to give us this email service reminder because we've already registered all three of them here already into the service so we already registered all three so we end up returning the email to us let's press f5 and there you go it has been able to resolve it okay let's try the final or the third one which is the factory and comment this out so here it's similar to the delegate but we are using a factory pattern or factory design to do this so let's run it press f5 and go for api slash sms here we already have um, the factory registered so all we have to do is again pass a token to that factory and the factory will resolve the right service for us. So t in a way, what we've done here is we have isolated the, the, the option to uh, resolve it ourselves. Because the first one gives us the freedom to resolve and choose the one we want. But it gets messy because the controller now has to find the right service. But instead of doing that, what we have to do by using the second or the third option is we have now delegated the task of identifying the right service into a different class or a different set manager. So in this case, a delegate is doing the, uh, the identification of the right service. And here, the factory is also doing something similar as well by doing the work of finding the right service for us. The fourth option, which is which most people kind of end up using, is create a, a derived uh, interface from the main one. So this is the main one. So what people tend to do is now end up creating multiple uh, interfaces from it. So they just inherited their main interface without adding any more operations. They just inherit the main interface and then create an implementation of the inherited interface. So here we have an example here, which is derived email reminder from the email reminder interface. The same for SMS and same for push notification, which in turn 
um, inherits the main I reminder service. So yeah, there you have it. All four options have been explained and you have the option to choose the one you want. The preferred option which is good for unit testing is these two. Okay, and in fact you can actually unit test all of them but for um, separation of concern purposes it's always best to use the factory or the delegate one. Thank you and please don't forget to subscribe.